young world, this stuff never ends in 2020. The internet just told me a couple of minutes ago that the district judge, the district U.S. judge, Esther Salas, the one whose son was killed last night, who I did a video about earlier, now they're saying that the person who killed her son was now found dead of a self-inflicted gunshot wound in the Catskill Mountains in New York. You can't make this stuff up. And by the way, she was just appointed to the Jeffrey Epstein lawsuit case between Deutsche Bank and investors because of their because of their connection to Jeffrey Epstein. And she was just appointed to that case four days ago. And I keep telling you about the blacklist. So I'm not going to keep telling y'all jokers about the blacklist. Watch the blacklist. You'll know what's going on in the world. Believe what I'm telling you. Jeffrey Epstein is Raymond Reddinson. But... They found the dude, they're trying to say he's a lawyer is what they're saying now. They found him in the Catskill Mountains of a self-inflicted gunshot wound. It says both the U.S. Marshals and FBI are investigating the shooting and were working to find the sus suspected gunman. Initial reports from law enforcement said Daniel Edward opened the door with his father right behind him. The door opened to a hell of gunfire. The gunman fled. Law enforcement says it said the gunman appeared to be wearing a FedEx uniform. A, a law enforcement official with direct knowledge of the investigation said... And remember, I told you, I think I tried to get, I think they tried to, somebody tried to abduct me last month. He was acting like he was a FedEx worker. It says a FedEx package addressed to Salas was found by officials investigating the vehicle associated with the suspect. The suspect was discovered in Liberty, New York, according to the law enforcement. Um, it is not yet known whether the gunman was a FedEx employee or someone posing to be a FedEx employee. It says we are aware of the media reports and are fully cooperating with investigative authorities. Uh, law enforcement has not been aware of any threats against the judge, the source told um, reporters. Investigators don't yet know the motive. Um, so that's just where it's at right now. And they, and they said that they think this guy is supposed to be a lawyer, the guy that killed her son, the, sus the suspect. So that's a, another twist to it. But the blacklist has episodes like that. It shows you how people are forced to, forced to do stuff like this. To inject you with a disease, make you commit a crime to get to to get the vaccine for it, you know what I'm saying? Or pay you to do some kind of crime, go out and do something, then you come back and they just kill you. Like, episodes like this are on the, everything going on in the world right now is on the blacklist. I don't want to keep giving this show too much equity, you know what I mean? Because it is a show, of course, there's going to be mis misdirection and misinformation within anything that comes through the mainstream media. But I'm telling you, Jeffrey Epstein, for one, is not dead. Don't believe that for one minute. They wouldn't let Jeffrey, Jeffrey Epstein die for the simple fact that, like I said in the other video, Jeffrey Epstein, people like him have things called kill switches, murder switches, the, uh, the monster death uh, murder triggers, the monster death. They have information that will be released by third parties or other people or, or associates of theirs because that's how they keep certain people in line. You got some dirt on some people. All the stuff that happens behind the scenes is all operating with dirt that everybody has on each other and within the, within the whole cabal, or whatever you want to call it. On the blacklist, they call it the fulcrum. Everybody's after the fulcrum. The fulcrum is a chip that has all the information on it, but everybody's dirt, everybody's secrets, all this stuff. And that's exactly what's going on right now. That's how you keep people in check. So if they let Jeffrey Epstein die, they wouldn't let him die because they know that he had files upon files upon files of dirt on everybody in the damn political arena everybody in there that somebody has tons of dirt on them because otherwise they wouldn't let you in there without having dirt on you that's how they get you you're inducted into these secret societies by performing rituals sexual orgies all this stuff because they tell you that in order to join us you have to do this to come into our program so you do it because you're trying to be part of the program because everybody else there has done it. So you're like, all right, I'll do it too because it's part of the program. But what that's really for is to keep you in check if you do decide to grow a conscience or decide to grow some type of compassion or anything like that. At some point, they can keep you in line with the agenda by saying, look, you know what we got on you. We got these pictures of you with these kids. We got these pictures of you with, that, with an animal. We got pictures of you killing somebody you know what i'm saying we got pictures of you doing the most craziest stuff that will just ruin your whole life so yeah they're going to stay in line that's why they they always have they, they must stay on task even if they don't want to or not so that's this is just what that this is what happens you know what i'm saying so that's why like i said they won't let somebody like jeff jeffrey epstein die because 
they would they wouldn't know where this information is at now if they, they allow him to die they don't know who's going to be the person that's going to be triggered to release this information they wouldn't take a chance like that so of course that's why they faked his death got him out of there because his character was cornered the character had to be killed the jeffrey Ep the jeffrey epstein identity had to die but the person himself he's not dead and this is more it, it, the, whole, the whole thing that people talk about with Jeffrey Epstein is the sexual stuff the young girls and stuff like that but this is much more deeper than sex sex is the worst thing is they can use that in the media to, that's going to get more people's attention and make pe more people outraged and upset and everything but the sexual part of it is only a minute part of everything that people like Jeffrey Epstein are doing these are the people that are running drugs controlling elections controlling politics Controlling warfare, controlling weapons, you know what I'm saying? Controlling chemicals, controlling medicine. These are the people that are doing all this stuff. It's, it's more, it's bigger than just sex. There's way more to it than just sex. So believe when I tell you.